From the main real estate management page, you'll see a link that says gallery settings. The gallery settings will establish what your pages will look like when your customers see them. The first thing we have on the page is the main listing page. If we go out to the website, this is what your website looks like. We've got a picture on the left hand side, a description and some information in here and links to the full size page. So in the management section, we give you an option of having the picture on the right side or the left side. If you want to go beyond this, you can, don't suggest it, but you can create a custom layout custom layout lets you go in and actually modify the HTML and put in replacement strings for the values. If you don't know what that is, just stay away from it. Stick with the main settings where we give you an option to choose one of the options. Next thing you can choose is the number to list. So if you want to do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 per page, that's up to you. Next option we have on here is the main page. And if we go out to our website and we click on one of the pictures, we come out to the main page. This is the page with a slideshow showing the pictures. It also has a link to the larger pictures here. It comes up over the page and you can scroll through the pictures. And it has all the information down the page. You can change the look of this page as well back into the settings. So you can choose this option or this option. Again, you can create your own if you want to go in and change the HTML. It's a little complicated, but if for the high-end websites, if you really want to go crazy and do something spectacular, you can go in and change it. I think our design is pretty good. You can change the thumbnail size from 200 to 150. So one is large, one is small. The one we just showed on the preview is a large image, and that should be fine. You can change the sort order, the default sort order. So when we're looking at the website and we have this listing, we can change the list, the default order of these by the price. So we can do the lowest price to the highest price. We can do it by new listed or last modified. Um, the person who's looking at the website can also sort these by clicking on the links. They can change the order they can do it by price, so this is high to low. They click on it again, it goes low to high. You can set the default, so when someone goes to your website, it's going to give them that listing. So you might want to do year built or last modified so that your newest ones come up. You can also change the size of the font. You can do small, medium, or large, depending on your overall look. Go with a medium, and that's pretty standard. You can include a search form and a sort form. I just showed you what the sort form was where they can click on it and sort the properties by price or by uh, newly built. You can also change the colors. We have the default colors are gray. We've changed a couple colors on this site, but you'll see that when we go out here, you'll see that the text is black, the links are blue, red if you go over it. If we want to change that, we want to change the table color on the main page or this, these table or these lines here, we can change that. And we would go and click on this little pound sign. We'd pick a color. We'll pick red just for contrast. If we want to change the links, we can change the links or the text. So we want to make the text green. And these aren't colors I'm recommending just to show you the, the contrast. We're going to go ahead and update this that, so that you can see what it looks like. And we'll go out here and refresh the main page, and you'll see that we've changed these colors to red and green. And I guess that's good if it's Christmas time, but you're probably not going to want those colors on your website. But you do have the ability to change those and customize the look without working very hard. We're going to go back. We're just going to eliminate the colors in here, and this will give us default colors, which should be the same as the website colors that we've chosen for the rest of the website, or gray if we're don't have anything set. Another feature we have in the gallery settings is the custom content fields. Custom content fields allow you to add five text boxes and five one-line text boxes to your information page so you can add additional information to your pages. Now this is going to require a little work on your end to actually add it to your final page. This gives you the opportunity to add things in. Let's say we want to tell people what the local churches are. We'll add in churches. Maybe we want to have employers. So we'll add churches in 
here in a one line text box will add employers and we're just showing you the different boxes. Maybe you want to show people what the local employers are in that area if they're looking for a job. We go down and we update it. Now when we go to add a new listing and we go down through all the information, these are all the default things that we have in there for you. Go down to the bottom, you'll see the custom fields. We've added in churches and employers. This gives you an opportunity to put in 10 different fields where you can add additional information to your pages that might be relevant to your listings. There's a, for, a form that will email you and you can put in an address here which will link to the schedule an appointment so it'll bring up a form where someone can email you as long as you've entered an email address in the setup so if you have an email address in there you can do that if you have a separate page you can put in the address of the page or the URL of the page and it will change the link so if you want to use the form builder and build your own form that'll be fine you just put in the links here and it'll override the link to the, the default form and then also we have a the slideshow that comes up when you're on the page and you click on larger photos it comes up with a slideshow to go through the photos you can change the colors of that slideshow by going in here and changing the colors so if we wanted to make this green we could change that and when we update it and go out to our website and refresh our page we've changed the colors of our page back to gray and when we click on larger photos you'll see it comes up now green so you can customize all the colors and you can change the look of it just by changing the settings under the settings page if you want to go beyond it and go into the HTML you're welcome to do that we have instructions but it's definitely something that is going to be left to webmasters and developers who really understand CSS and HTML.